And this is what I've been doing for 30 years. Peter Geiger, editor of the Farmer's Almanac, purchased a total of 8,260 king-size candy bars ready to hand out for his annual trick-or-treating event in Lewiston. Some of the candy companies cut back on their sizes to try to trick people this year, but they didn't trick me. I, have, uh, I'm, I go by the ounces of the weight of the candy. Geiger says when he was a kid, he and his brother scouted neighborhoods on Halloween for the best candy. When we were little, we would we would try to figure out where, where are the best places to go. And you'd have this nice little old lady who'd put a spoonful of popcorn in your bag. Well, we skipped that one. And then we'd find where the good places are. So I always thought that when, I, when I'm an adult, if I ever made it, I would give out the king size stuff. Believe it or not, Geiger says now he does not eat candy. The joke is that I gave up candy for Lent back around 1985 or so, and I haven't had a piece of candy. I mean, a lifesaver, nothing. <laughs> Geiger used to hand out candy from his home, cars lining the street with kids waiting for treats. Trick-or-treating has since moved to the Geiger business on Hope Ave in Lewiston with all kinds of spooky decorations. This year's event will be held on Thursday, Halloween, from 4.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Geiger even renting a hearse from a funeral home. Once kids get their candy, then they can come up to the, um, the hearse, and then there's going to be a, a bucket full of taffy. Look at the bones. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, what accidents happen? Just don't tell OSHA. Geiger explains why he's kept up this Halloween tradition for three decades. There's so many stresses everywhere in life that candy one day, one night a, a year is uh, doesn't do any real damage. If anything, I think it, it creates great memories and kids are, kids have a good time. Reporting in Lewiston, I'm Talia Clark for Maine's Total Coverage.